We interrupt our series of videos to talk about something else for a sec. <laughs> we'll get back to our regularly scheduled um, set uh, discussions uh, after. I don't know when, but um, that's the next one right over there, ready to go. But we went to our local thrift store again. <laughs> we always seem to, if we're bored at home or out for a drive, we clean stuff up, we go over to the thrift store, we drop it off, and then we walk through it. It's called Value Village. Um, it's like a Goodwill, except slightly different. Um, so we go there and I've been told that th th this doesn't usually happen anywhere else in Ontario and Quebec, <laughs> but our local value village always seems to have Lego and, uh, and sometimes it's very, very negligible. It's a small bag or it's a bin or it's Duplo, um, but most times there's a few bags of uh, various Lego and various uh, iterations and very various eras of the Lego company. Mostly new, uh, a lot of Friends colors, a lot of um, Nexo Knights, uh, la latest sets in the last five or seven years. Um, and uh, historically, a long time ago, I would pick up every single bag <laughs> because, we, because we drop off stuff uh, for them. Uh, we have... Um, discount card so it costs us hardly it, take, it takes basically 20 percent off the anything we buy if you if you donate you get a 20 percent discount card so uh we would uh usually a long time ago we would pick up whatever legos there and then i would sort it out because there'd be also a lot a lot of clone bricks in there most of the time uh and connects and ick <laughs> which always drives me crazy. Um, so because my extension uh, extension a, a collection is pretty vast, it's not the biggest in the world, but it's um, big enough for me. Um, so I, I have uh, slowing down the purchasing at thrift stores unless there's pieces in the bag that I think are cool and uh, then I pick it up. Or if it's uh, the whole bag is uh, cool slash old, older stuff. Like if I see classic old gray and lots of space pieces, I will buy that. And that's uh, actually, I completed a lot of, well, obviously duplicates, but I've completed a lot of classic space sets by grabbing bags of uh, older Lego bricks at Valley Village. And, and I do have a process and I've went over it a few times. There's a few YouTube videos older in my stream a long time ago, but my process is anytime, anytime used Lego comes into this house, either from a uh, uh, Facebook marketplace or value village or um, any kind of thrift store, any, any used bricks that come into this, this house must get washed. I don't care where it's from. <laughs> I don't care who it's from. Uh, it's going to get washed. Uh, I, I'm not disparaging uh, people's collections, um, but I made a mistake once where I didn't wash uh, bricks that came into the collection. I mean, I sort, obviously, uh, and I didn't realize that there was some sort of broken marker in in the uh, bin of bricks, uh, some magic marker or something that was busted or ink or something, and it got into my collection, and I didn't realize it until... <sighs> You know, my hands were, I looked at my fingers and they're blue all over the tips. And I'm like, son of a pup. <laughs> so I had to go find all the bins that I put Lego into <clears throat> and rewash those bins entirely. Uh, so I do make it a point of no matter how clean the bricks look, I'm going to wash them. Uh, and my washing is basically in the kitchen sink. Uh, just warm the hot water with a little bit of dish soap and a little bit of, uh, uh, oh, I forgot, vinegar. Uh, a, a cup of vinegar, not a cup, not like it's measuring cup, but I, a glug of uh, vinegar and dish soap. And then I let it sit in the sink uh, and I swoosh it around, swoosh it around uh, for a good 10, 15 minutes. Uh, let it sit in the water. I drain the water so all the suds go out and I fill the sink up again. I drain it two or three times, um, mixing it all the time. And then I let it sink in the, uh, let it sit in the sink, let it drip dry. And then I will put it on a towel. Uh, I'll take it out of the sink, put it on a towel, and I'll put the towel in the corner of the house somewhere. And for whatever reason, our house is exceedingly dry. <laughs> it's, it's odd. Our house is stupid dry. That usually overnight the bricks dry, sitting uh, somewhere in the house. And, and then I sort it. Uh, sometimes I'll start sorting while, while I just put it on the floor somewhere. While it's still wet, and I'll grab the blue and the gray and the red and the white and black. And I'll say, oh, look at all these cool classic space pieces over here. Um... 
Uh, and then when it's dry, I sort it into the collection. Now I have been woefully negligent on the actual sorting into the collection. <laughs> I have a whole cardboard box here that I have to do something with. Um, so I, I might have actually all the pieces that I need for those guys. <laughs> I, I don't know because I, I haven't finished sorting yet. Um, so anyway, uh, and yeah, and then it's sorted into collection. And then I, I take all the mega block out and I put it in a separate tote, which goes back to Value Village, which gives me another discount card. <laughs> it's just kind of neat. It's kind of a circular thing. Um, I, I don't have any right now because we went to Valley Village yeah, yesterday uh, and took, or today, and took a box of old clothes and old shoes, uh, still worthy of being worn, like not worn out crap. Uh, we actually donate good stuff. We go to Valley Village sometimes and we see people just donating garbage and I don't know why you just can't throw it in the bin. Um, but uh, we, we uh, Sandy and I, make it a point that uh, we say this is actually really good and either Josh is outgrown clothes or uh, we have too many whatever uh, books. Uh, Sandy has her um, Harlequin mystery books, not romance, but mystery books that she reads and then she just takes them back to Valley Village. Um, and and then in, in that box of whatever we're taking to Valley Village, I put in the a Ziploc or whatever I have of all my Mega Block or whatever else I find that's worthy of going back to Like the ick just gets thrown out, <laughs> right? But there's Hot Wheels and there's Connects and there's Mega Block and there's whatever else. That all goes back to Valley Village. So I try to keep, and I, I'm not saying I'm 100% because occasionally once a blue moon, I will come across a one by one yellow Tyco brick and it drives me crazy, but I, I, I try to, uh, when I'm sorting, find all the not, all the clone bricks and take them out. And usually when I'm building, I can say, hey, that's not a Lego brick and find it then. But, um, so we went to Valley Village. Boom. <laughs> so we were at Valley Village yesterday. They had about 30 plus bags. Now, going back pre-COVID, uh, if they got a big collection, if the Valley Village received a donation of a big collection of Lego, they would usually keep it in the tote that was donated with, and they would keep it in the, uh, in the front uh, area where you have to ask to see it. Uh, they haven't done that in a while. Um, they just, just put it all, all into these. Uh, oh, look, RoboForce decides to fall down. <laughs> Shock. <laughs> and it broke. I'll fix that later. <laughs> Sorry, little dude. Um... So they had 30 plus bags of, of Lego uh, plus assorted uh, other uh, company bricks mixed in with the Lego and some were fully not Lego, uh, but they had 30 plus bags uh, there and it looked like most of it came from the same house. Uh, I just kind of judged that. Uh, and so uh, Sandy bought a coat, uh, stuff, 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 uh, toy bags, $9.99, $9.99, $5.99 and 9.99 so three bags of 9.99 and one bag of 5.99 here bing 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 and each one of these bags i grabbed off the shelf because there was something in the bag that was cool <laughs> and that's just basically my criteria i left the other 30 bags hanging there in the shelf and they were there today because sandy and i you know josh went swimming so we had something to do for an hour and a half we went over to village village walk around um they had that wasn't there yesterday they had in the front display case uh that technic and i can't remember the set number but it was fully boxed it was that yellow robot truck thing that came out after the original sets and it transformed from a truck to a standing robot and arms and stuff like that um and i asked to see it it was 49.99 with box but the box was really beat up and um I said, oh, okay, I, I, I will see what's inside. If it looked complete, I would get it. And, but if it's like missing a ton of pieces, I wasn't going to get it. So they opened up the box because it was all taped up. And I'm looking inside and it looked like half of it was there. Now, I have a lot of Technic bricks down here, like a lot of yellow Technic. There was not a single piece in there that I already didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I said, I, I, like, if it was, because I never owned that set, and I will look it up at some point. Um, but uh, for 50 bucks with a box, but if all the pieces were there, I would have grabbed it. But all the pieces weren't there. There was also an Explorian set in there, or at least a few, the white wing slope piece that we've already talked about uh, in previous um, discussions of uh, the sets that I've been building. Uh, but, um, but it didn't look like it was complete. It had the two half 
blue, uh, trans blue half round uh, two by four by four. Uh, but that's that's not and the wing plate. And I'm going. That's not worthy enough for me to buy that because I got lots of those pieces. If if the entire set looked like it was there, I was going to buy it. Uh, there was also some other pieces, uh, non-Lego, uh, uh, battery box of something that connected to some sort of motor or something, uh, probably from some sort of toy that was around in the 90s. I wasn't remotely interested. So I left the box there. So I walked away. <laughs> I walked away from 30 other bags of mostly Lego, and I walked away from a Technic set that I sort of wanted to buy back in the day, but it wasn't that uh, appealing to me. So anyway, I wanted to talk about these four bags that I did buy yesterday uh there's one two three four and, and why i bought each one of these bags so we're going to start with the easy easy one first because this is yes it's a lot of basic brick but it is looks like it's almost 100 percent lego but what i saw beyond this ladder the old 70s ladder was the, was the christmas trees and, and this tire which is why i bought this bag <laughs> yes it is old old school lego absolutely old school um but uh you know and and of course i donated a whole well donated uh jeff and i are now having a uh, communal box of uh basic brick that we can share amongst the both of us um to um because he's doing a lot of landscaping but uh, this is always nice to have a nice big six by like 20 six by, what is that two four six eight sixteen uh, more of these, you know, like, like I need more of those, <laughs> but the, the trees, uh, you know, you just never know when you're going to run out because I actually have a bunch of trees and, and this tire, and, and these are, this is actually looking pretty much mint. Like I've, I've, I've gotten these tires before. I mean, I have a bunch of copies of this tire, but, uh, the rubber speed up and the, and usually I see teeth marks, but hardly anything. There's a couple of scratches on there. Um, I wanted this, so I got it and other than that, you can see that they put non-Lego on Lego. <laughs> so this is going to come off. I don't even know what that is. I've never seen that before. Uh, it's not even Mega Block. Um, they did it here too, uh, non-Lego. Um, they did what we always did for all of us when we were kids. They used this thing as a pulley. It was a little string on there. Um, and the rest is basically now. It does have some nice because I actually run out of two by three uh 33 degree slopes because i got so many in the layout um so this was a worthy buy buy for the 9.99 yes it's a lot of oh there's another non-lego brick um i actually find a lot of those see and this is why i wash i don't know what that is i don't want to know what that is i'm just going to go right into the wash so this is going to go into this bin here i've already sort of sort of uh, again crap non-lego whatever that is uh i will do a better sort later because i don't want to do this sorting of you guys but mostly this is a scratched up brick i don't know if you can see that yeah still be but um yeah you know, did i did i need to buy a uh a 9.99 bag of basic bricks just to get these extra pieces yeah whatever <laughs> uh i'm happy with this so um it's not at all um, upsetting to me that I, I saw it and it was mostly basic brick. And uh, as I say, I, I, I sent the whole two, three totes to my buddy Jeff um, because you know, I was taking it from the garage, but I wanted that and I wanted these. And so I washed them. So let's go talk about the next one. This one, this bag. And while I'm sorting around and looking through this bag, you can tell non Lego already. So there's going to be lots of non Lego in here. Um, the, the, the wheel that had all the little pieces for the minifigs. Um, why did I get this one? <laughs> I, I don't know now. Maybe when I open it up. Oh, this is why I got that one. That big guy right there. Uh, six by five by one panel or brick. Uh, this is a pain. This one's gonna be more icky. I also, when I'm doing this, I have a towel when I'm doing this sort. So I do not uh, get my sheet underneath dirty because uh, I can wash this easy. Um, so not that one. I'm actually low on these doors. So I actually, this is actually a cool lot to buy. 
Uh, but again, there's some non-Lego. Hey, it's a drywall screw. <laughs> like, you are, you, if you're doing this like I do, you, you'd be constantly amazed by what you find in uh, these Lego, Lego uh, things. This is not Lego at all. So these things go over to the side to be put in the bag, I guess. But um, I saw that. Of course, the sticker's crooked. Well, whatever. <laughs> so, um, not Lego. Some non-Lego here with Lego. So again, you always have to be wary when you buy these things. So not Lego. Uh, so I'm going to be sorting that out uh, before I wash it. Uh, bionicle piece. Um, which is, in the end, which is fine. Non-Lego there. So I'll just pull out that one here. And, and then you can tell from a distance, like that's not Lego at all. You can just tell by the color of it that it's not Lego. But sometimes you have to like look at the actual stud to realize, again, this is not Lego, right? So there's some non-Lego in here, uh, but it's mostly Lego. So I can't complain about that. Again, you get used to that, that that's what's Lego and what's not Lego, usually from a distance. And you can tell, you know, this is a plate and this is a, let me just do this because it's not focusing on here properly. Hello, focus. Why is that not focusing? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, there, sort of go. Um, it breaks easier, <laughs> by the way. Non Lego breaks easier than Lego. Now, have they improved? They absolutely have improved. Um, not Lego, which is surprising. Also, not Lego. Definitely not Lego. <laughs> Definitely Mega Block. And broken Lego. So, that's already going to go into the box of Doom. Don't have to watch that. That's already in the box of doom. Um, just absolutely fine again. Uh, so it looks like it was some castles in here. Uh, the latest version of castle set, which is again nice to have. But I got that whole lot because I saw that one piece of uh, six by five by one uh, with the Lego sticker on it. I thought it was cool. And uh, now I'm kind of glad I still got it because there's a lot of nice pieces in here. There's hardly any basic brick. Um, and then it can be washed and sorted into the collection. So that's done. This one I got, old old gray, four by six. This piece here. Um, so those are why I got this one. Old gray is always something I'm usually gonna buy if it's like plates and stuff because all mine are fragile and they break easy and blah, blah, blah. Um, shake that out. I'm not gonna sing a Taylor Swift song, but you know, shake it out. And then you can see there's lots of, so now this is gonna be fun to sort because you can see that there is um, built to roll, there's Lego and there's Mega Block all in the same thing. So I'll take these things off because they're Lego. The rest of it is not Lego at all. Nope. So this is like four different brands. <laughs> four different brands. That's fine. Actually, looking at it, most of it, I might just put this one all the way back and just take. I mean, that's Lego. That's from uh, Star Wars, but it has to be washed. Um, take that piece out. Take this piece out. So this is going to be, uh, this is a completely different thing. I'm just going to put this over here. I'm not going to probably sorting out too much because I just realized, I mean, it does have some Lego, um, but it's mostly not Lego. I should have seen that. And it has this piece in it, which is always cool. Um, and you can see there's a lot of dirt and stuff in this. And this is why I put, this is why I put the, tip, the towel down because now you can see there's a ton of dirt on the, on the uh, towel now, uh, which just, ugh makes me so this is like floor sweepings which just drives me crazy um but i didn't want that on my table um so this is gonna yeah i don't like that at all i'm gonna put these pieces in here um now the last bag i really wanted because i was looking at it and i go yeah it's more dirt more left but i noticed this piece right here on top and i also noticed that it's lego and I can guarantee you, in my entire room here, <laughs> I do not ever have that piece. I don't even know, I didn't know that piece even existed until I saw this bag. So I don't know what set it came in. I really don't. 
Oh, it even has a um, UFO. <laughs> That's cool. And this is all non-Lego right there. But this, look, it's a tub. <laughs> It's a Lego tub. I'm sure all my friends can tell me what set this came in. I'm sure I could Google it right now what set this came in. But I've never even thought about a Lego tub before. I mean, look at that. That's why I got the bag. Right here. <laughs> so, uh, oh, wait. Ooh. This is like from, uh, this is Benny Spaceship. This is a trans yellow 3x6 new uh, slope. And then it had UFO. And of course, non-Lego. Non um, but... Uh, UFO. So that, that maybe I should have spent more time looking at the rest of the bags. This is non-Lego. Uh, this is Duplo. Gotta love Duplo. Because um, the rest of it is... I have to look this up because I don't know what that's from. So this is a lot of Lego and a lot of non-Lego. Uh, the, the old gray uh, storage container. Um, but yeah, so, so overall... Um, cool piece. Overall, was it worth the 40 bucks minus discount? I don't know. Some people it wouldn't be. I, 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 got to, I was thinking I wanted to make this video anyway, so that's why I grabbed these four bags to show you what I look for. This is always a cool piece. Um, I'm sure as, as I sort this out later, uh, minifig pieces, um, I'm going to find more cool pieces. But um, in the end... I am trying to slow down on buying Lego at the thrift store, especially if, unless it's like 100% Lego, because now I have to sort all this out and I have to clean all of it up. I don't, what? That's definitely not Lego. <laughs> so, um, so in the end, I keep on saying that. It's one of my favorite expressions. Do I, is, this must be a hairpiece from Lego. I've never seen it before. I have never seen that hairpiece before. And it's soft and squishy. So I'm going to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, non-Lego there and Lego there. So, yeah, this, these, these, these pieces are going to have to be uh, washed and sorted, or probably sorted and washed. And we'll go from there. And then they'll be going into the collection. Because, again, not a lot of basic brick, which is always cool. I don't like, because, uh, again, I have too much basic brick, and it's always, you know, I'm glad it's going to Jeff and to a good cause right now. Um, so I don't like buying bags that have mostly basic brick. Oh, see. <laughs> so happy you got that piece because we just talked about those pieces. And Catwoman's cowl. So, you know, whatever. Um, and a dragon wing. Like a dragon wing. So. <laughs> so, uh, yes, when you buy used lots, you will not get, uh, usually not. And then here's the dragon arm. And here's some old style. Uh, swivel arm pieces, joints um, from the old and I think that is probably from, I don't know what that's from but I'll figure it out so that's the four bags I am glad I bought them and I'm going to um, wash three of them and just probably put one right back into a bag and um, take it back to the village <laughs> so I'm going to take these pieces already uh, put them in here and so yeah we just put this in the box that we got in the garage going for valley village and then we'll go to valley village we'll get a 20 percent discount card uh from whatever we're donating uh from the kitchen from our like utensils from the kitchen that were no longer necessary whatever else uh downsizing because sandy and i are perpetually downsizing uh we've got a lot of stuff that's we've acquired over the years and um it just takes up room and usually the rule is besides the lego room if you don't use it in six months, why do you have it? <laughs> so uh, we, we have been going through uh, a lot of... And then this thing gets folded up nicely and thrown into the wash because now I have my tabletop and it's nice and clean. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about cleaning that. Um, I wanted to do that video and... Oh, it's only 24 minutes, so that's pretty good. Let me just fix the robo... Guardian here because I can't believe I broke that. I can't believe I knocked off the wall. Um, that bugs me. There we go. I think that's uh, out back together. Um, I don't know what I'm going to get around to doing this guy. Did I do this guy? I don't think I've done this guy yet. In a, in a, oh, it's missing an antenna and missing a few other pieces. So this thing took a nasty fall. Took a nasty fall. So there's probably some pieces on the floor somewhere. And my room's a disaster right now, so I'm not going to find it. Because uh, it's missing a piece here. Um, sorry, dude. 
That's where you fell, dude. <laughs> I will find another spot for you so you don't fall again. It's the only Robo Force one I have together. Um, so that's it. I'm going to uh, clean all this up and I might tonight do the video for um, the uh, talking about the solar power transporter um, and how cool it is. <laughs> um, uh, but I did, wanted to talk about my Valley Village finds. And overall, this is a hit and miss uh, set. The hits are um, straight up. Got that. Got another one of those. Uh, I should 